Hey YouTube, Sean Cardwell here, AKA the Grape Slushies. Today we're filming a how-to on double pegs. So this is a great trick. Uh, I mean, obviously you need pegs if you're gonna do it, uh, but it adds a whole new level of riding and creativity if you have pegs on your scooter. Not that not riding pegs is a bad thing, but I personally love to have pegs. Just get more of that BMX style and all those BMX tricks. So we're gonna go into the skate park and we're gonna try doing some double pegs today. Let's go. We're first just gonna give you a hands-on, show exactly what we mean by a double peg grind. Um, First things first, you need to have two pegs on the same side at least. This setup's running four pegs, so I can do back side or front side. Right now, we're just doing a double peg, AKA a 50-50 if you have no pegs. So what that is, is you're gonna be literally on both pegs, a double peg. Your back peg is on the coping, and your front peg is on the coping. You can do this to a stall. You can do grinds, bakey, front side, back side, combos in and out. Yeah, it's as easy as that. So we'll go over it and we'll actually talk about how to get into the grind. So first of all, we're gonna go from saying you're a, a ground zero, uh, you just threw your pegs on, you probably threw them both on the front at the first or on the back, you didn't know. So switch them both over to be on the same side since we're gonna double peg. And we're gonna start out really small. What you're gonna wanna find is a ledge or even a curb outside of your driveway. And you're gonna wanna actually just practice trying to get in the lock up. You can even start all the way beginner, get it on there and just kind of feel where you need to be. Right there, there you have a feeble, there you have a smith, and you need to have the precision to get both pegs right there. So what you can do is just approach your curbs, anything like that, uh, starting out small, maybe right next to it, just hop up. Just get really good at your double peg precision, you need to know exactly where it is. The technique I use is I try to hop only as high as I need to and shove my wheels against it. That way I'm not gonna get right here, and slip off, and by getting really good at how high I need to hop, I'm not gonna then shove the wheel over the top and miss completely. So once again, just absolute beginners. Just find a ledge, something small, where you can just practice getting up and down. Once you get on a little bit further, you can come straight at something and actually 180 onto it. A little cramped over here but you can see just the precision of just jumping straight to it landing directly with both pegs locked on so let's go try this on a quarter pipe we're gonna do some double peg stalls all right we're over here at our uh, quarter pipe I found a good one uh, I would prefer if it actually had coping on it a little easier to stall on but this will work good uh, for a beginner it might be a little bit hard to lock on this so hopefully you have a quarter pipe that has coping you're gonna want to find one, a good comfortable height, nothing too scary. This one's about three and a half, four feet. That's probably about four feet. Uh, it's really good to start learning. If you fall, you're only falling four feet. Uh, you don't get hurt too bad. First things first, you're gonna wanna be pretty good at your basic stalls. That's your feeble stall, your board stall. Practice those first because the double peg is going to need a lot more precision. If you can't feeble stall consistently, that's your first step. So when we're riding at the quarter pipe, just have a good, solid speed the same amount you would to do a feeble stall. Turn a little bit more and line up the pegs. For your first couple, let's keep that foot off to the side just as like a safety break. Once you're getting good at those, you should definitely practice dropping in from your double peg. So what you're gonna wanna do there, is maybe just start already in the double peg stall, you don't have to jump into it. Jump a little bit, bunny hop, look down towards the ramp, your shoulder will lead where you go. Lean in, you're gonna want your wheels to match the angle of the ramp that you're jumping into and you'll roll away clean. Not too much weight forward, not too much weight in the back so you loop out. Same way you would do a drop in from a feeble. Also a good thing is bend the knees. The lower your center of gravity is, the less you're gonna tip forward or tip back. All right, we're gonna go ahead and actually commit to our double peg stall. If you're a little nervous, go back to your step one and practice locking in before you jump up to this and just commit. Go up at the proper speed you would do to a feeble. Turn 90 degrees. Keep your hands strong, don't lean too much left, lean too much right. Commit, once you've locked in, no need to hold it for super long for your first couple. Just do that small little bunny hop, lean forward and go in. So the double peg isn't too easy. You've already done your double peg stall. Uh, don't be afraid to trick in, trick out. Do it on harder, steeper quarter pipes, anything like that. And then don't forget, you can always do front side. I'm not too great at them, but same thing you would do. I was just showing you the back side, so you just spin 90 degree front side commit, pop in the same way you would. 
All right, now that you've got your double pegs down, you can start taking it to other things, uh, like a ledge, grind. Only thing you're gonna do here, differently, is just go at it with some speed, make sure it's waxed up, do a couple practice ones, and just go hit it. I mean, you already got the double peg stall. All right guys, that's how you double peg. I mean, not too hard, just commit, line it up, and practice, practice, practice. Uh, we showed you some techniques to kind of get used to it before you start doing it on ledges or quarter pipes. So make sure to practice those. You can even practice them in your driveway. Um, keep an eye out for our next installment. If double pegs are a little bit too easy for you, we're gonna be doing how to ice pick. So that's the next step up from a double peg is you're just gonna be on one peg in the back. That's gonna be super sweet. So stay tuned next time, guys. As always, like, subscribe, and talk about your favorite part of the video. Woo!